Hello everyone. Welcome back to another devotional read with Denovia. This week we're going to look at the devotional Understanding Financial Stewardship by Charles Stanley. And we're going to look at day two and it is entitled Financial Stewardship. So without saying anything else, let's get right into the devotional read. What is financial stewardship? Simply put, it's the way you use your resources to provide for your needs and for the needs of God's kingdom. It's important to note that stewardship involves far more than your money because your resources involve far more than money in material goods. Among your resources are your talents, experiences, creative ideas, energy, time, spiritual gifts, and much more. Your resources encompass the total you. God desires to bless all of you and to be directly involved in every area of your life. And he wants all of you to be actively engaged in his plan for this world. Financial stewardship is something with which all people are involved, whether they know it or not. Every person is a steward of God's gifts, including money and material goods. And he has a perfect plan for what you are to do with your money and material wealth. He has a plan for blessing you with increase in money and material possessions and for you to increase your ability to bless others. The key is discovering what that plan of God is for you. You must remember that God doesn't separate your business life from your spiritual life. From his perspective, the two are intricately connected. Why? Simply because you can be prosperous if you're growing and bearing fruit in only one area of your life. Prosperity has to do with your entire life in a very practical way. God's just as concerned about your finances and your ability to meet your material needs as he is with your spiritual growth and development. Many people have been taught incorrectly to think of money as dirty. They view finance and business as unspiritual matters and certainly not anything that could ever be considered holy. They regard money and financial principles as subjects that should be outside the domain of the church. Let me assure you, God doesn't see money as filthy. Money itself is neutral in his eyes. It's what we do with our money that counts before God. He desires for our financial lives to become sanctified, which means that we deal with our finances in purity, governed by right motives, and in ways that are wholly acceptable to God. Our scriptures for meditation comes from Matthew 5, verse 14 to 16, and 1 Timothy 6, verse 17 to 19, which will be read from the English Standard Version Bible. Matthew 5, 14 to 16. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket or on a stand and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. 1 Timothy 6 verse 17 to 19 Thus, storing up treasures for themselves as a good foundation for the future so that they may take hold of that which is truly life. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share. As for the rich in this present age, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. Amen. Thank you for joining today's devotional read. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember to share this video with a friend. And until next time, everyone.